This video is a summary of what I've gathered from Ken Honda's private seminar and his other videos regarding the world after coronavirus. And I've added information which I've collected from other sources in the internet and blended it. If you're someone who hates watching the news and just want a summary, this one's for you. After you watch this video, I'm pretty sure that you will have a better understanding of what will happen in the near future and what kind of jobs will survive after corona. In the last part of this video, I've added a key strategy on how to survive after corona, so make sure you watch until the very end. As you all know, the world is drastically changing. Yesterday's news is already old in today's world. There isn't a clear simulation or survival plan on what will happen after corona. But I made this video to provide you the best future map as possible. The whole world will be hit hard by this COVID-19, no doubt about it. But by watching this video, this will give you a guideline on how to deal with this crisis. And so that you feel more comfortable and ready to overcome this icy storm. This video is separated into four parts. 1. Before Corona 2. The world after Corona 3. The jobs that could survive 4. The survival strategy 1. Before Corona is a short summary of human history fighting against virus 2. The world after Corona Here I will explain what will happen and how the society and values will change 3. The jobs that could survive Going through what kind of jobs that will grow and will become difficult. 4. The survival strategy. The key points we need to overcome this crisis. Here I want to shortly explain the history of outbreaks. Now you might think history is boring or difficult and it doesn't have anything to do with this crisis that we're facing right now. But what is one thing in common for all the people living on this earth today? It's the pandemic. The world is already one against this virus. And the human history is the war against the virus. In the 14th century, plague, also known as the Black Death, killed 22% of the world's population. That's 200 million people dead. Many Chinese empires fell down due to infectious diseases in the background which increased frustrations among the people. Viruses has always been together with human history and that hasn't changed at all until today. I know you heard about Ebola virus, AIDS, SARS, MERS, and influenza. In the past 50 years, these viruses were found and spread around the world. But some of you might think modern medical technology can cure this. That if we wait for a while, a new vaccine will be developed. But the fact is, we don't have AIDS vaccine yet. SARS and MERS either. There is no vaccine. There isn't an effective drug to cure it either. The cutting edge medicine is still fighting and studying to try to find this until today. Coronavirus is just one of them and the battle between the human and virus is still continuing. But SARS and MERS were actually a regional case like in China and the Mideast. That's why it sounds like something far away. The most recent worldwide pandemic is the Spanish flu in 1918. This spread in 3 years and 5 billion people were infected. 50 million people were killed and that's like the third of the world's population at that time. 1918 was a year of modern civilization and urbanization. People gathered to the city and transportation developed. That's one of the reasons why the Span that's one of the reasons why the Spanish flu spread so rapidly. Also because of the World War 1, the troops traveled long distance and the virus spread all over the world. This is the most recent pandemic that the humans experienced, but the important thing here to understand is that there were three waves during the three years that it lasted. Once it seemed like they calmed down, then the second wave came, then the third wave came. What we can learn from this is that the COVID-19 is not something that can be solved in a few months. It has the possibility to last for two or three years. The first wave was from China, and now it's spreading around the world. The second wave will come somewhere in the autumn of 2020. And the third wave will come in the spring or summer in 2021. The numbers of infected people will obviously increase. As of today, April 18th, there are 23 million cases who are infected. But remember that there were 5 billion people who were infected in the Spanish flu. In such a global world that we're living in, it's obvious that the infected cases will increase. What will happen in the economy is a recession. The Lehman shock in 2008 was known to be the recession once in a hundred years. But this corona recession seems to be worse. The Lehman Brothers crash triggered the fall in the stock market in six months. But the corona shock reached the same level in just one month. There is no positive sign that the world economy will rapidly recover. What is coming next is the Great Depression like in 1929. At that time, the GDP in USA went 27% down. 
unemployment rate was the highest in 1933 of 25%. What this means is that a person who has a $3,000 monthly income will go down to $2,000. Another example is that if there is a classroom of 30 students, there will be 7 or 8 students who have a parent that is unemployed. This trend will spread among the world. Borders will basically be kept closed for a while because the pandemic won't pass away in a few months. Governments are afraid of importing virus from other countries. But this will be a power game between those who want to avoid spreading the infection and those who are fed up with corona and want to focus on recovering the economy growth. 2020 will be a year full of COVID-19 around the world. It started in China in January, Korea in February, the Western world in March, and in April, Japan. This will expand to Southeast Asia, Mideast, and Africa throughout 2020. But the second wave will come towards the end of 2020, so we'll be talking about Corona all year long. The worst case scenario is World War III, and therefore, the human history is really be testing in this tough time. From 2021, the era of with Corona will start. Like it or not, an era that Corona is always with us. Whenever we're off guard, the number of people infected will increase. Lockdowns will happen locally, but the borders will repeat being open and closed. This will continue throughout 2021. In that kind of society, people are always paying extra attention of Corona. 2022 will be the first year after Corona. 2022 will be the year that is completely different of what existed before Corona. A world being reborn. Ken Honda was saying 420 years ago, the first corporation known as the East India Company was established and since then, capitalism expanded. Colonization, pursuing profit, unfairness between the rich and the poor, developed nations versus developing nations. This turning point of civilization will come in 2022. A world government might be established. If you're interested in the future of money, go click on the video over here. How will society change? I would like to explain this in four aspects. Economy, society, life, and IT. Everyone will become poor. Great Depression will cut down salary 30%. 30% of the population will be unemployed. The assets like real estate stocks will be down to 50% of their original value. When everybody is poor, the only thing they will buy is what is necessary for their survivals. They can't afford buying expensive things. If people don't buy, the products won't sell and the economy just gets worse. People will be aware that there is a risk to go out for dinner. Shops and restaurants that focused on rotation to increase their sales will have to reconsider their business model. Shops and restaurants will need to renovate their space to secure social distancing. In that sense, the meaning of living in the city will need to be revisited. The advantage of living in the city is based on meeting with people easily packed in a small space in the city close with each other. But if we're stuck at home and not allowed to go out, there's no meaning living in the city. People will start moving to the suburbs. People will only meet each other when they really need to because they don't want to risk their lives. When people get poor and stop going out, the lifestyle will drastically change. People will stop traveling, going out dining, and partying. Luxury brands, high fashion, fancy cars won't sell. You don't need to look fancy when you're just staying in your house or having a chat with your friend on camera. Digital transformation will expedite. IT is a must for companies to survive and protect their employees. Companies that were reluctant to invest in IT will need to put in the money because employees need to work at home. The default will be working online and not working in the office. There is no way turning back because people will realize it's not much worth commuting in a traffic jam or a crowded train. What kind of job will survive? What kind of business will grow? Ken Honda was saying that 95% of industries will be hit hard and only 5% will do well. First one that will do well is online supporting business. As mentioned, many companies will have to invest in IT. 
not only installing but supporting their customer until they get used to it for maintenance. Second is air cleaner, disinfect, and clean business. It's easy to imagine that in order to stay healthy, people will buy these things. But for companies, it's more critical. It's their duty to protect the employees in their office. They will be forced to take countermeasures investing in air cleaning machines and disinfections. Companies will need to renovate their working space in order to follow the social distancing regulations. People who can fly a drone and do technical support will be valuable. If going to the field is a risk, drones will be used to check things out. Ken Hanna was saying that new jobs like virtual reality somnia will have new business chances. For people stuck at home and have nowhere to travel, they can experience with virtual reality to go to travel the world. The somnia will be able to mix the right ingredients and visual aspects. People who can teach self-care to stay healthy. Industry that will have a decline in two years but can somehow survive. Aviation, transportation, restaurants, hotels, retails, real estate, constructions, automotive, beauty, bridal, high brand, social clubs, publishing, professional sports, sports goods, TV, concert, music, entertainment, advertisement. Jobs that will be reduced due to digital transformation in 10 years due to switch to AI. Sales, office workers, accounting, public officers, cash registers, bus drivers. SE, programming, video editing, and designer. High skilled people can only survive. New applications will develop. Everyone will be able to create high quality stuff. Industries that can survive if transformed successfully to online. Retail, private classes, beauty, fitness, social activities, spiritual, fortune tellers, coaching, counseling, entertainment, events. Here I want to explain the strategy to survive and there are five keywords. One, downsizing. To cut down expenses, revenue will heavily decrease and companies will do whatever they can to survive by reducing expenses like offices, salary, and employees. 2. Online. Online, no company can survive. 3. Sell dreams. Products and services won't sell. People will stop buying luxuries. But daily necessities and dreams always sell during recessions. Dreams never die. Humans would try and reach out for their dreams. We have seen this many times throughout history after the war and when the lands were ruined. People want to hold on to their dreams and take a chance. Any product that can contribute to accomplish one's dreams will sell. 4. Fan In the past, we would jump into any restaurant on the way home. But from now on, that turns into a risk. People will tend to go to only who they trust and want to meet. They will only want to spend their precious money to whom they know. Only the people who have built the trust in their brand and who have a lot of fans will survive. 5. Share Sharing economy will accelerate. Car sharing People won't have enough money to buy their own car. People are living their life with fear and anxiety of the future. In that kind of atmosphere, the emotions to want to be helped will increase. And the beautiful soul to want to help one another will be revisited. We're living in the world of social media and internet. We're luckily already connected with each other. Our ancestors built our country from literally ground zero without any internet and were brave enough to face the challenges for the children's children to have a better life. We live in a much more advanced world, but the core values and what matters the most in the end is the community around you. The community you build will be important and become the help and support you will need to overcome these tough times. Take care of yourself and your family and be excited for the new year to come in 2022. Thank you for watching all the way through. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this one over here. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.